Hi guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time. Story time! Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment to my page. Here we go! Hi guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time on today. Today I will be reading to you guys the Flintstones. It will be a part four part four parts of this book because it has four different stories but today i will be reading to you guys fred's birthday that is the first part the flintstones fred's birthday all right guys let's get into this it was fred flintstone's birthday but he was not very happy as the day began yeah some happy birthday this would be there's no muss or fuss or sign of a party maybe wilma's going to surprise me he said to himself. When Fred sat down to breakfast, he tried to find out if Wilma had any special plans. I'm going over to Betty's to watch an old movie on TV tonight, Fred. Besides, you should get to bed early. A man your age needs more sleep, Wilma said. I don't need more sleep, and I don't want your, you planning a party just because today is my birthday, Fred replied. I agree, dear. We're getting a little old for that silly party stuff. I'll see you later. <laughs> Wilma ran next door to the Rubbles, where she and Betty and Barney were getting ready for Fred's surprise party that night. Have you got it all straight, Barney? Asked Wilma. You've got to keep Fred from finding out. Sure thing, Wilma. First thing, I take him to the golf course, second to the health club, and third, back here in time for the party. Back at the Flintstones, Fred had given up looking for his present from Wilma, but he did find a list beside the telephone. It said, things to take for Fred's party. Aha! So Wilma is going to surprise me. I bet I can get Barney to tell me about it when we go play golf. <laughs> So she just conveniently left that there, huh? Okay. Barney and Fred played all morning, but Barney didn't say a word about Fred's party. Come on, Barney. I've had enough golf. Let's go home, said Fred. We got to go to the clubhouse first, Fred. When Fred heard that, he was certain his party would be in the clubhouse. I'll go in first, Barney, he said. Yahoo! Everybody, I'm here. But the clubhouse was empty. We got here too early, huh, Barney? Too early? For what, Fred? I just wanted you to see my new weights. Fred had guessed wrong. Next, Barney took Fred to the new health center. I'll bet that's where ha they're having my party, Fred said to himself. I've got a surprise for you, Fred, Barney said. Stand up here and close your eyes. Running on the treadmill was not the surprise Fred expected. Shut this thing off, Barney, he yelled. Barney let Fred run, let Fred run for a long time before he shut the treadmill off. Boy, I'm really beat, Fred said. You need a little steam to relax, Fred. Let's have a little snooze. <laughs> have a spa day. Back at the rubbles. Wilma and Betty were starting to worry. Everyone was there for the party, except Barney and Fred. I wonder where the boys are. They're an hour late. I'm so embarrassed, Betty. We can't ask this house full of people to keep waiting for Fred. We'll have to look for him. Barney finally woke up and dragged the sleepy Fred back to the rubbles as planned. He thought everyone was still inside waiting to surprise Fred with the party. Wait here, Fred, and I'll go around the back to open the door. We'll watch that old movie on TV. But Fred didn't want to watch a movie. He headed home to bed. Some birthday, he said to himself. When he walked in the living room, he found Wilma crying her heart out. Oh, Fred, where have you been? We all planned a party for you, but we couldn't find you. What's the matter, sweetheart? Fred replied. It's still my birthday and we're together. That's all that counts. Suddenly, the door opened. Surprise, Fred! 
Surprise, Friendstone. The surprise party worked after all, Wilma, said Betty. Happy birthday, old buddy, Barney said to Fred. What do you think of the cake? Yabba dabba doo, said Fred. <laughs> I guess he was happy. All right, guys, that is the end of Fred's birthday. That was part one. Part two is coming soon. X-ray excitement. All right, guys. Thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Storytime. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my page if you haven't done so already. All right, guys. Bye.